everyone, this is Ishak, and once again, welcome to the Human Show. Hi, I'm Aya, and welcome to the Human Show. So, we're gonna learn some wisdom, Aya, today. We're gonna learn some, some wisdom. Some warning wisdom. Some warning wisdom. <laughs> oh, no, warning. This is from uh, Guru Dev. Uh, Guru Dev Sri Sri Ravi Shankar. Ravi Shankar. Okay, yeah. so basically this is a request from an older video from one mm -hmm. of our. I think we have reacted to him before in the past. Yeah. In through mm -hmm. YouTube, but this one uh, is uh, from Facebook. This is uh, yep. the secret of a happy marriage. Oh, are you ready to learn some secrets? I <laughs> think this is applicable to you and me since we are both married. Mm -hmm. And we love our spouses very much, <laughs> right? So, okay, let's learn something. We're gonna take, we're gonna learn something today. So, as always, thank you for the request. As always, also don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Yeah. What is the secret to making a marriage work? <laughs> <laughs> I think you're asking the wrong person. <laughs> <laughs> You know, there was a gentleman here from Germany and a lady from Italy here. And both of them had married several times before. They both came here and said, Guruji, we want your blessing. This marriage at least should work. And I asked, the gentleman, do you know Italian? He said no. And I asked her, do you know German? He said no. They both didn't know English. Oh, shit. I said, then don't learn each other's language. It will work. <laughs> <laughs> don't learn each other's language. Don't learn each other's language. There is a proverb in Canada. It says, Martinim nage nudiyu, Martinim hege holiyu. Martinim sarva sampadavu loka ke mate manike sarva kyan. That means, it's only by words conflicts begin. Mm. Mm. <laughs> and it's only through That's words so people have fun. And through words only people gain wealth also. So words should be used sparingly. Mm. You know, usually people when they have some misunderstanding they say, Let's talk it out, right? Let's stick, sit and talk it out. But the talk it out doesn't work at all. Yeah. So we should never talk it out. So what do you do? Just move on, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Don't sit and discuss the past. Don't ask any explanation about the past. You know, when a mistake happens, happen and that's it, you forget, we should move on. Just imagine yourself in a position. Suppose you do a mistake and someone keeps asking an explanation about your mistake. It is such a burden to explain somebody or to justify oneself. Right? Never make other person feel guilty. This is very important. Yes. Anyone whom you make feel guilty, they cease to be your friend somewhere deep inside. That friendship uh, tie, bond gets loosened. So there is a skill in making a person aware of his mistakes without oh. making him feel guilty. But normal tendency in human beings is to make someone feel guilty and feel happy about it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. This is a normal tendency. We have to raise above this normal tendency and not make someone feel guilty. Then your relationship is long-standing. Yeah. Thank you. There is one secret for women and one secret for men, I can tell you. Maybe this will work, you can think about it. A lady should never step on the ego of a man. Oh. Of a man. You got it? A lady should never step on the ego of her man. If you, the whole world may say, 
to a gentleman he has no brains but the wife should never say she should always say you are the most intelligent person on the planet true ego ego just the fact that you don't use your brain doesn't mean you don't have it <laughs> she should always pump his ego that's right this is very much essential if she if a lady starts saying the telling a man you are good for nothing you are a vegetable and he will really become one you know one secret for man man should never step on the emotion of a woman she may complain to you about her brother or mother or family but you should not join the bandwagon the moment you start nodding with her complaint she will turn around <laughs> all 180 degrees yeah 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 she will instead of you know dwelling on her complaint she will complain to about you so why do you say how dare you could say such thing about my father what do you know she will start turning the wheel around and if she wants to go for some religious program yatra may be or a movie or shopping she just simply agree and give her the credit card <laughs> So don't step on the emotion of a woman then everything will be fine. And for both of you don't ex- don't ask proof for others love for you. You know don't ask me ask them do you really love me? No. Why you you don't love me that sort of complaint you never say. Never give the burden to someone to make prove their love for you. Mm. Do you see what I'm saying? Mm. Mm. If you find their love for you is less, you should say, "Why do you love me so much?" <laughs> Instead of asking, "You don't love me," blah blah blah. Yeah. See if this works. Wow. That was good. That was that was really really good. Yeah. That was really really good. That was so much wisdom. That was so much wisdom. I felt so much it really in my heart. That might be the most meaningful reaction that we have ever done in hundreds <laughs> of video that we have done in the past. Um it's true though. I'm going to go to you first as a wife uh to your husband. <laughs> Uh, let us know what is your what is your opinion what uh, feedback after watching that video yeah 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 so the uh, guru dev said that don't talk about the past and just move on but i think one thing that um, he does he didn't touch on is about forgiving because i i always do that if mm. we uh, if i argue with my husband we never talk it out we just move on but uh, the one thing that you don't know is i put grudge in my in my heart <laughs> but uh, so i think yeah the one thing that the guru dev doesn't didn't touch on is you should for, forgive your your yeah. spouse yeah. Uh, yeah i think that's it because i do it all i always do it if we if we angry we never talk it out we just let it go let it go and the grudge by now by now okay piling up in my heart <laughs> actually a lot of the A lot of the points that uh, he made, actually, remember, like number one is about words. Number two is the advice for men and women, and advice number three is um, about uh, love proof, love proof of love of something like that, right? So I'm gonna go to number one first. Words, yes. I am the type of person that sometimes need to be explained by words because um, sometimes action alone, I am kind of. Indonesian word is dangkal. Apa shallow? I'm kind of shallow sometimes, you know. If sometimes I'm I'm not aware, not only to my wife actually, to other people, to other people around me, even you maybe, even maybe your sister or even your uh, a lot of our friends that you know, right? Sometimes I'm not aware of what they are doing, whether it's good or evil. 
you know like sometimes i'm not aware this is something that i need to work on this is something that i need to really really work on actually that sometimes i need to be more uh, apa namanya lebih lebih aware lah lebih lebih aware lebih mm-hmm. lebih sensitive to to be more sensitive not towards myself but towards mm. others i think i should be I there see. i think i should be there and also i think that's man's natural <laughs> oh really <laughs> yeah. Okay. See, I'm not. See, this is what I'm talking about. Like, I'm not even aware. Like sometimes, like for example, in, when it comes to uh, when it, when it comes to words, uh-huh. sometimes to me, sometimes words matter. It doesn't matter how much they say stuff or how little they say it. Like for example, my wife sometimes say things that I don't understand. Sometimes, sometimes, and then like for me to really understand it. Like I have to. Can you explain like what is point A, what is point B? You know, like, something like that. But it's true. Words does matter. And also, sometimes I, I'm I'm very. I try to be very careful when I say, "Oh, my life sucks." Oh, uh, I hate my I hate my life. Oh, I hate the, that. Uh, become, such a negative topic. Yeah. That becomes a reality. Mm-hmm. So some. It's really hard. It's really hard to. Do this. Like I saw, I saw some video. Like say, you know, if you want to start your day right, go in uh-huh. front of the mirror and tell yourself uh-huh. everything is going to be okay. You deserve uh, the life that you are at right now, and you uh-huh. will be much, much better. It's really hard to say that when you have all these negative thoughts inside your head. Uh-huh, it's really, uh-huh. yeah. really, really hard. I get it. I get right? It. Especially after when you fight with your spouse, and then the next day uh-huh. you want to say that. That's the most. It's just the most challenging part. It's really hard. It's really really hard, and talking about the advice, which is uh, the woman uh, don't step on the man's ego, to the man don't step on the woman's. It's so true, it is so true, and sometimes um, men have this ego that needs to be feed, needs to, harus dikasih makan egonya, harus dikasih makan egonya gitu. Ngerti gak sih? Jadi kayak harus have to feed the ego. I understand also sometimes that's why I'm very I need to work on the sensitivity towards other people's emotion without realizing I might be stepping on my wife emotion. Mm-hmm. That was a very good one. I wasn't aware of it and I was like thinking ah oh, that might be something that I done. <laughs> that that's why she was angry. Ah oh, it was my fault. You know something like that. And uh to my wife and I understand that sometimes she's tired, sometimes she you know she's also stressed. With whatever work that she's facing at work, yep. and uh-huh. sometimes it's really hard, you know, to 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 get on the same level because we are yeah, both yeah. so tired. And talking about the third point, and also by the way, talking about point point uh, one and two, which is that you mentioned uh-huh. uh, forgiveness. I think that's also mm-hmm. that I'm very not only forget because if you forget and there is. Uh, Forgive and let go. I think that's the proper uh-huh. word, yeah, I right? Think that's the proper but if you just let go, if there is no forgiveness, because I'm Christian, right? So there is this thing that you really have to forgive, because mm-hmm. if not, the it become a cancer. Yep. It become mm-hmm. a cancer inside. It kind of grows. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just waiting. It's just waiting for it to kaboom. To blow up. Yeah. yeah it's mm-hmm. it happens to me a lot of times. It's really hard to forgive. I understand that. And talking about point number three, proof of love. It's really, it's really hard. It's really, really hard. It's really, for me because, like, because uh, uh, I mean, looking at my background, looking at my at my history and stuff like that, it's really hard. But sometimes I really need to convince myself that you know what I need. To, he say I need to step beyond the normal tendency of a human being uh-huh. to make somebody feel guilty. I I shouldn't do that, and you know I shouldn't do that. I should feel like hey, you know what. I I should understand. That's why back to the the understanding the, part. The first point. Yeah. yeah. The proof of love. That's why I need. But also after all this, I think we need to 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 formulate a strategy. They say you now maybe you can say if she love you less, maybe you know you, if she you are thinking that she love you less, maybe you should be saying thank you for loving me a lot. Maybe yeah, it becomes yeah, yeah. because I think it kind of pushes the spouse away if you keep on asking mm-hmm. that. You know, and and and, ju- and by saying that, uh, thank you for loving more. If uh, you talk positive to yourself, mm. and maybe it become a reality, yeah. Indian, right? Yeah, <laughs> that's why. That's why. That's why. A very, very um, wisdom. So much oh, yeah. wisdom in the morning. So much thank wisdom. wisdom. <laughs> very, very useful wisdom. Ah, thank you guys for the Let's recommendation. Let's hope our marriage will get better from nowadays. Ah. <laughs> 
Hey, by the way. So guys, what you have learned from By the way, we are, we are talking about this. My wife is not here right now. Is your husband there right now? <laughs> oh, lagi lagi enggak di situ. No, no, no. <laughs> Already, uh, yeah, it's already gone. Okay, okay. So anyway, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed that wisdom from Guru Dev. And as always, thank you for watching. We'll see you guys again next time. Yeah.